I'm going to start by launching the coffee cup HTML editor, which I just have done. This tip of the day doesn't really apply to us right now. So then it's going to ask you new blank page or open existing files. So I'm just going to open the file that I sent today over um, and we'll go over it later how you would do this for new possibly, but possibly not. So this is ex open existing file. I'm going to get the file that I just sent you from recent places. And it's um, documents. And I have it in here actually. This is prepping water. Okay. So now this open to a regular old HTML editor. So as you can see, there's code that I've put in here already. The first thing that you should do is on the view tab, toggle on the um, word wrap. That makes it look a lot better. Now go to view and hit this split screen preview, which is F12 also. Okay, so now this is going to give you a top and a bottom. This is the the WYSIWYG, the what you see is what you get, and this is the code. So we've been doing this in the WordPress space for a while, and it's just not working out because their images are terrible. You just can't manipulate them, and understanding some of the code behind it really is the the best thing, the best way to handle this. Now, this um, this is the is our these are our variables that we put in to the, to the uh, link tags that we use for the link at the top of the story and we should be putting that link at the bottom of the story too. As you can see, it's, it put me on, it puts wherever you are on the top, it automatically puts you on the bottom. So now I'm going to show you, I'm gonna show you an interesting feature that, that Coffee Cup has is this snippets tab over here. If you look at this snippets tab, you get a whole bunch of stuff here, and these are common HTML things that you would just click to put into your document, most of which we don't use on the blog. But it has a nice feature that you can put in your own snippet. If you see, I've, I've highlighted this is our snippet here, and I'll, I'll take out the campaign, because campaign is the only thing that really changes with this code. And I'll control C to copy that. And then if you go on the file menu and you do, a, I believe it's save as, save selected text as snippet. So I will save that as a snippet and I will variables. We'll save it as link variables. Now, if I go to L up here, link variables is here. See, and it shows me exactly what it is. So I could even put in, no, you can't edit it there, but you can edit it there. So I'll put my cursor up here. Oh, well, let me take out, I'll take out the ones I already put in. And I will click on link, I'll double click on link variables and see it puts it in. And then all I have to do is put in blah, blah, campaign. So that's the way the snippet tool works. And the most important thing here is I really want to get away from the image editing in WordPress and just use our own, our own, our own editing. Um, okay. Let me, let me think. Okay. So there's, Actually, a I already put mine in. See, I put it in here as image and caption image caption table. This is the text that I'm emailing Shannon. This. So what I'll do is I'll put it in here, and this is you can just do this in a blank document to save it in your coffee cup. What you're going to do is highlight this, and 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 then just do the same thing. Save it as 
snippet. And this is going to be what you're going to use for images. See, if you see it, it put in a table here. It put in a table with a broken 400 pixel image. And I'm going to go through the code. This is the overall code here. So I'll explain the code and what it means and, and, and why. This is a, an HTML table. It says a line equals right. Um, it can be a line equals left. If you want to switch them back and forth, border equals zero. That keeps it from having these thick borders. And background color is this blue that I just randomly selected. Then it has table row, table data. And then this is the, the file that's going to pop up in the pop window. And this is the file that displays. And both of them are things that you put inside the quotes. Um, then this is the end of the link that's connected to this href. This is the end of the table data, table row. This is another table, table row, table data. And then inside these m tags, this is where the caption goes. Okay, now if you see it updated here in the WYSIWYG, updated it automatically. So now I am going to go into this email. This is the actually the email that I'm composing to Shannon that has that table code in it. And I'm going to go into um, I'm going to go into let's see edit post going to be slow because I'm logged in. Okay, so now we would put an image in using using the um, the way we would put images in before is we'd use this add media. We're not going to use that anymore. But we can still use the media management in WordPress, and I'll show you how. This is the library here. Very slow. Don't know why. So I'll go into this this image right here. Okay. Now this over here is that's the that's the URL of the actual image here. Um, this is why we're only going to save 1,200 wide images because the files aren't huge on them, so we can only use one URL for these two things. Jim is actually calling me, so I'm, I'm finishing up a screen capture, and I'll call you back. And you're going to be on the screen capture, because I'm, I'm actually doing it right now while I'm on the phone with you. Okay, so I'm going to go take that. I'm going to capture that URL, Control-C, to copy it. And then I'm going to go back to Coffee Cup, okay? And I'm going to put it here in between these quotes. And I'm going to put it here between these quotes. So that's the image, which you can see I set the width at 400. You can set it smaller or larger. 400 is what I like to use. Um, and the caption goes here. So as you can see, I have an, an image, a line equals right, with a caption. Okay, now if I want to align equals left, I just change this to left. And boink. It goes to the other side. Um, I'm going to probably have Yitz add some padding in there for us. I have to get that from him. So the code you actually get from me will have a little bit more stuff up here that says padding, blah, blah, blah. So um, that's enough for now, I think.